Hi, my name is John and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable a feature of Windows 10 called Controlled Folder Access. Now this feature was included in the Fall Creators Update of October 2017 and it updates your Windows version to version 1709. So what this this, this is actually built inside of Windows Defender, and it's a security feature. It's supposed to be like anti-ransomware. You're actually controlling, in, in certain folders, controlling what applications can make any changes to the files in those folders. So to begin the process to enable controlled folder access, you want to come over here and go down to your Start button or your Windows button and click on that. And then you're going to want to get the Settings, which is this gear right here. So we'll click on Settings. Once inside Settings, you want to go to Update and Security. And I'm in the middle of a checking for updates. Oh, jeez. Well, look at that. We're okay. Well, all right. Looks like we're up to date. So let's continue. You see, I tell you, this is <laughs> recording as it is. All right. Here we go. We have to now go into Windows Defender. We have to open that up. And then once we're inside here, we have to open Windows Defender Security Center. And then we need to check on virus and threat protection. And then we need to get into the virus and threat protection settings. And then we need to scroll down, and here's what we're looking for, control folder access. And to enable it, well, here, protect your files and folders from unauthorized this is a misprint, I think, changes by unfriendly applications. So we're going to turn this on. And again, this will, we have to click on, yes, do you want to allow this to happen? Okay. And so now it's set up. And here, if you click on here, it'll show you what folders are protected. Now these are the default folders, and this will change depending on your configuration. If you notice, I have other another drive, so I have an F here along with my C. But you can also add a protected folder. So any files inside these folders, except for certain Windows applications that Microsoft doesn't tell us about, uh, will not be able to make any changes to any of the files in any of these folders, any of these locations. To show you how it works, Let's do this. I'm going to now that now that it's enabled, I'm going to close this. And what I want to do, I want to open a file and I'll show you what happens. I'm going to go into my documents. Now this is a protected folder. And let's just let's just try to open. Let's see. We got something in here. Uh, no, I actually want to get a document. Let me see. Well, here, let's just go in here. We'll go into the forms. Whoop. And. That's what you get. Virus threat protect unauthorized changes blocked. And this is here is the program trying to write. So if you want to open this up, because like this, this here is open office. So again, I can't make any changes. Notice save isn't available. I can't. I come in here, I try to make a change. I, I go to save it. 
Error-saving document. Can't do it. Input-output error. Again, we're just blocked. All right, so I'm going to discard that. Now here is what we'll do. Now I'm going to open up for that program. Remember, here's what you're getting. It's telling me I need to open up. It doesn't give you the whole path, which is kind of a problem. But that's what I'm looking for. That's what I have to let through. S office dot bin. So what we have to do is let's go back to our settings. Security, Windows Defender. We got to go back in there. And back in here. And now we've got to allow an app through. So we click on that, and then we come in here, allow an app through, and then we got to go find that app. So I know it's over here, program files, local disk, and it is an office, open office, programs, and then it's S office bin. So we go down. Is it? There it is, right there. That's the one. I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna allow that one through. I'm gonna say yes, make the changes. So now that program is allowed through. Let's go back and see if we can make changes to the documents. Just go in here to forms. Could be anything. This is what we opened before. Notice I'm not getting any air popping up. Now let's just make a little change of this just for to show you. I'm going to make this instead of street, make it road. And it allows me to save it. Boom. I could save it. Doesn't kick out the air. So this now, office, open office can write to that folder. All right? Let me just change this back. And I'll save it and close. So now here, let's do this. Let me bring back my settings and just show you something else. Let's go back in. Defender, Security Center. Remember, we got to go in here. Go in here. There it is. If I wanted to add another folder, I can add a folder. The one that I want. Like for me, I, I'll want this one. I'm going to add that in. Let's make the change. So now I've added that folder to be protected. And again, if I use an application, that's going to make some changes to anything in this folder, I'm going to have to probably add it back in here to allow the app through, like I did for this one. Now here, you can remove this. You can click on it and remove the application if you want. Um, one other quick thing, and then we're almost done just for point of information, you cannot remove or change any of the default folders that Windows creates, that the feature creates. Now, I can remove this one, the one I added. You can remove those. But the ones that Windows creates, you can't remove. All right, that should do it. And that's how you set up controlled folder access with Windows 10 Fall Creators Update, a new anti-ransomware -rans feature, and I would recommend at least trying it out, see what you think. All right, that's it for the video. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you found it useful.